Hey guys, just want to give an update on the poly sequencer. Um, based on feedback from the vocal community, um, a lot of people are saying how important CC was. So um, this is something that I got implemented into the next version of poly sequencer, which is up on my Etsy now. Um, but basically, it's now 128 steps, six notes per step, and then one CC change per step. Um, and I just want to give you guys a demo on how it works. Okay, so how I have this currently set up, I have my Geno DI acting as a MIDI controller connected to MIDI in on the poly, and then my Korg Volca connected to MIDI out. So um, I have um, some of these potentiometers set up to different CC values that I know will control the Volca. So for instance, if I adjust the cutoff, you can see the potentiometer light up saying that CC value is controlling the Volca keys, and then same with cutoff int, and then um, this one I have not set up as rate. So same as before, press record. And then as you're playing um, the notes for your sequence, you can just adjust CC value parameters. Um, and then the, that CC data will be associated to that step. So let's just do something simple here. Typically though, I feel like most people wouldn't do it that way, but I wanted to include that functionality. Instead, I think um, as the sequence is being played back, you would want to adjust those parameters and then allow that CC data to stick to the associated step. So um, I added that to the override mode. So let's do a different sequence and then I'll show you how that works. So the next mode I want to go over is interrupt and once again it's the same as before as your sequence is playing you can play over it and then those changes won't um, be saved into the sequence um, but what's cool about this is I adjusted it so that um, as you're interrupting your sequence your CC changes um, continue so it kind of um, allows you to have the same effect as you're playing over your sequence. Okay, so I'm going to record something new that's not as extreme, um, so you can hear the difference. Stop it, um, and then let's change this to interrupt. Okay, so that's basically the new changes that will be on version 2.1. Um, last thing I wanted to say is uh, I really appreciate everyone that's purchased a poly thus far. Um, it makes me continue to want to make these updates. Um, and I also wanted to start up something where um, if you have purchased version 1.2 in the past and this is something that you'd want on yours, um, send me a message on Etsy. If you send it back to me, I will program it and send it back to you for free. So just as a thanks for everyone that's purchased the device um, thus far. Thanks.
Thank you.